So on my last free CAD video where I was drawing with lines, there was an actual comment there where it was suggesting to see if I could uh, use AI to generate 3D models. So that's what we're going to be doing. Real quick, today's sponsor is PCBWay. So if you're looking for high quality 3D prints or PCB manufacturing, look no further than PCBWay. They offer high quality and affordable pricing with top notch customer service. Now designing your 3D prints is very easy. You could just use FreeCAD like what I'm gonna be showing you in this video. All you have to do is upload the STL and you could get a quote in minutes. Once you place your order, PCBWay takes care of the rest. They'll manufacture your 3D prints or PCB with the latest technology and quality control standards, ensuring that it's perfect every time. The best part, PCBWay actually offers free shipping. So if you're looking into manufacturing or mass producing your 3D prints or 3D models, uh, look no further than PCBWay. Now back to the video. So we're going to be using FreeCAD, but technically not because there's this software in there that's integrated into FreeCAD called OpenSCAD, which is a programmatic way of drawing CAD. So instead of drawing out a square, measuring 20 by 20, and then putting a pad on there for another 20, you get a cube. Uh, you can actually just type this in in OpenSCAD and generate it that way. Now I've used OpenSCAD for quite some time when I was first learning 3D modeling for certain things with my 3D printer. And yeah, it worked very well if you got an understanding of programming, if you need to do for, if, command, and stuff like that, it works great. All right, so the first thing we need to do is create a new model. I'm going to jump into here and then we're going to switch this over to uh, OpenSCAD. Now you do need the software to be pre-installed. So I actually have OpenSCAD installed on the system and that will allow it to integrate. Now, if you don't have this, you would have to manually install it. It should be able to detect that and you'll be fine. Now, so the first thing I wanted to do is to see if it could create something simple like a cube. So let's do generate a 3D model of a box 20 mm x 20 mm x 20 mm. So it's 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters in open scat. Let's see if it's able to generate something that simple. Now open AI right now is running extremely, extremely slow. So it might be a while before I generate all the stuff that I need. All right, so here we go. We actually have some code as it's still typing out. Um, it's saying with 20, 20, 20, and then the difference, and then it's actually using cube and translate to uh, set everything into center. So I'm just gonna copy this code or I could just go copy code, head over to FreeCAD, hit this little open SCAD yellow icon over here and uh, drop in my code and hit add. And there we have it. And actually AI generated this model programmatically. So now that we know that whatever AI generated, it was able to process it and turn it into this cube, we could try something a little bit different. All right, so the next thing I wanna do is actually generate more objects. And I know that there's cylinders, spheres, cubes, and stuff like that. So I'm gonna play around with some of the stuff that I could type to tell AI to generate. All right, so here we have it. What I typed in was generate a 3D model of two spheres side by side by 20 millimeters in diameter and a cylinder between the two spheres with a diameter of 20 millimeters and 200 millimeters in height. And the two spheres will be positioned in the base of the cylinder with open SCAD. So let's see what happens here. All right, so here we have it. It generated this code. I'm gonna copy this and see where it takes us because I'm not even gonna re review it. All right, I'm gonna go back in here, clear that out, and I'm gonna paste that code. Uh, so let's do add and kind of where we want it. It's a little bit off. Let's see if I close it and maybe that's sphere one, sphere two, cylinder. I mean, it's off by a little bit, but it's not too bad. I mean, we could still go in and adjust some stuff. So it's not necessarily the worst thing in the world, but yeah, this seems to be working out um, rather uh, good. So let's see if I do position. Is this a cylinder that I have? Z. And if I go down a little bit more, because I think it's rotated, so it's got the wrong um, area. But if I keep going down, maybe minus 100, I think I would have knocked it out of the park and nailed it where it's supposed to be. So there we have it. We created a spaceship. And uh, you probably are familiar with the spaceship. It's actually on in Austin Powers. Colonel, you better take a look at this radar. What is it, son? I don't know, sir. But it looks like a giant dick. Yeah. Take a look out of starboard. Oh, my God. It looks like a huge... Pecker! Oh, where? Wait. That's not a... I might have made the 
centrifuge, the centrelage, whatever it's called, the middle a little bit longer than it was in the movie. But uh, yeah, ultimately, AI generated this. <laughs> and it, it looks pretty good. It looks like it works. So there we have it. Uh, AI can generate it and it did knock me out of this whole thing. So I don't know. Chat AI has been a little wonky right now. Uh, I think a lot of users have been using it. So it literally kicked me out of what I was just doing, which is fail to get service status and stuff like that. So anyway, um, it was able to generate um, the thing that I need. Um, I'm not good with telling how CAD should work. So my descriptions on what I need probably won't translate very well to 3D modeling. But if you guys are very well traversed with words on how to draw in CAD, maybe you could get a pretty good house or CAD model going on. But yes, AI can generate something to work with FreeCAD, which is through OpenSCAD. Anyway, that is it for me, guys. I had a little fun playing around with this. If you guys enjoyed this type of content, let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And then say my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.